Hey guys, Monty Last V6 here doing a video review of the new theme that I got installed today. Or I should say last night. I've been playing around with it since 2 or 2 30 this morning. It's called Throttle Launcher. Throttle Launcher is another theme just like uh Sense and Touchflow 3D. Uh another user interface I should say. Um so it's it's pretty cool. And it's got the colors going through the back of the screen in the background. And uh, you can press the screen different multiple colors and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a very different feel. You still got the start menu up there, um, the contacts, and then the phone I think was down there. You can also remove that from the bottom, or you can keep it up to you. Um, so when you first install it and you first run it, I'll give you a little tutorial down here along with uh, some items up on the screen. But uh, you can follow the, the uh, tutorial if you like, and then you can uh, see how to um, put in apps or widgets or anything like that. Um, well, to get started, to this little plus icon right here. What this does is it adds or removes widgets and applications from the home screen or any other screens that, are, that you have. Um, how to add or remove them, uh, these check boxes right here on the side. If they're green, that means you have them on the screen. If they're not, you don't have them on the screen. Okay. Uh, these red X's are to delete them. The cog looking icon um, is the settings, of course, to configure them, etc. Uh, let's see what we got here. Appointments, battery meter, widget. All this stuff comes from the install, uh, except for a couple of things that I downloaded here. The Facebook and the Facebook info don't doesn't really work so well for me. But the hero message is what I downloaded off of Throttle's site. I'll show you guys that in a couple minutes here. Mail view is another one I also downloaded. Nitrogen control if you're wondering what that is. I was like, what the hell is that at first? But and then I found out it's a media player. So let's see we got an RSS reader. And all these shortcuts that you see right here there's are the ones that I added from the HTC Sense ones. So, that's pretty cool. We got calendar, stock, system info. Weather.com is the one also downloaded from um, Throttle's site. Okay. And just, just to let you guys know that it is just like uh, Sense or Touchflow 3D. Let me show you guys here. One of the items. Uh, there you go. See, Throttle today, HTC Sense. And then you will click the throttle today. And then it'll load. It takes a while for it to load. Well, it's very smooth going throughout different screens, even with all a bunch of widgets on there. Currently got uh, four screens right now, kind of like the iPhone, you know how, how they do it. You can scroll side to side for different screens. That's how you can do it here. Um, you can put multiple things on there. Um, oh, don't worry. That up there, the unlicensed, will go away. It's just annoying right there. But if you want to get a free license, you go on their website, grab it, um, and it'll just go away for three months, and then you can renew that license. It's for free. Um, to add, or actually to move the widgets around, which is kind of like the iPhone or the iPod Touch, you would just hold it, the screen darkens, and then you can move it wherever you would like. Uh, let's see, you can also let's get rid of that. Oh, some messages. Let's get rid of that pop up down there. Okay. Um, everything that you see on the screen here, besides this bar down here, is what I added. Um, these three right here, where my thumb is, that's just one message setting. Uh, it's battery meter. You got the calendar, appointments, whatnot, and you got the clock. You can also get an analog clock or digital, different kinds, different wallpaper skins, all from Throttle apps. Uh, here is a weather app that I got, which is pretty cool. This is the uh, weather.com one. Here's a calendar and then the search Bing bar up there. Like I said, you can move these around, uh, go to different pages. I got my message viewer from Hero, and I got my mail. I uh, still haven't worked the kinks out yet and haven't really tried this at all, but. I got what, five pages down there. If I want to make more, say, just for, you know, a games kind of thing, I would just take this while I'm holding it and move it off to the right. 
There you go. Now I got six pages. Okay. Oh no, I think it froze. Anyways, um, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty smooth, pretty cool. I like it. There we go. Um, I'll show you guys the website here. A couple of seconds. Let's go through all these first on the bottom right here. Uh, second one is your peoples. Here's all the people that you have. Um, you scroll on the side. There you go, like so. You know, pr really smooth and like this. Um, you got your settings right here. Or the apps, I should say, sorry. Up here, this section is your favorites. You can add more of your favorites with that plus sign and select the apps that you like. Here's all the apps that you have on your phone. Which is also pretty nice, too. And this little wrench right here is the settings. If I can get it down. Okay. You have the late 3D settings where you can change these uh, colored snakes are going across the screen. I think that's what they're called. You can change it to uh, kind of like a colored spotlight going throughout the wallpaper and then bubbles. You can also change the scroll of the apps that was in the uh, setting of the um, app menu right here. You can change it from vertical to horizontal. Um, you can also get rid of the colored snakes if you want, if it's draining too much battery for you. It also free up some of your uh, stuff, your memory and whatnot. Your memory, sounds, power, buttons, and input. So it's it's pretty cool. And um, in the start menu, when you install it, all the way at the bottom here, there's gonna be a throttle config and a throttle launcher. Throttle launcher is what launches the program or the theme. Throttle config is pretty much the basic the um, the real settings for it. You got your license, cache, and general settings. Uh, you can edit applications, friction of movement. You can show the FPS for testing. If you want to see how fast it can go, uh, you can get different themes for it. Uh, right now, I just have the basic theme, which is you know the light 3D. Reload it, standalone. Today's screen, you can uh, customize that. You can hide the bottom bar, which is. You know, where it says exit and save down here at the bottom, it'll say contacts or phone and whatnot, you know, and like sense. Then you can also get rid of that. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys the website. It's going to be on the bottom. Alright, let's go to the website. Blow this up. 